Band. Good evening, folks. Well, on this frigid Friday night, two Houston County teams battling out on the diamond, the Rehoboth Rebels and the Wicksburg Panthers. Well, here are the Panthers. Carson Brandon hits to the outfield, which is enough to bring his teammate home. Rehoboth's Joe Watkins is caught sleeping and is called out on the pitcher's pickoff at first. Rebels batter now up. And the Rebels, well, they're holding their own. He hits a shot to the infield, but it's scooped up by the Panthers and a bang bang play at first. Panthers win this one five to one. Well, the recent rain has thrown a curveball to the outdoor sporting events, as you can well imagine, here in the Wiregrass. In fact, for Hits for Heroes has a packed schedule at North Cut Field, and that'll be tomorrow, a very busy Saturday on tap. Nine in the morning, the Houston Academy Raiders will play Clark County, and then at noon, You'll have two Wiregrass High School teams with a rich baseball tradition. Wicksburg, who we just saw, taking on Ayrton. And at three, this is a dandy and intra Geneva County clash. Slow complain, the Samson Tigers. And then, yes, indeed, we have Emmanuel Christian out of Dothan playing Bethlehem High out of Northern Holmes County. The estimated first pitch in that one is 6 o'clock. Of course, it'll be under the lights. And a triple header in store Saturday at Warren Field in the Enterprise Recreation Park, Highway 167 North at 11 in the morning. Wildcats will take on the Auburn High Tigers in Class 7A. Battle of the Ages there. Now that's followed by Class 2A. State defending champions, the GW Long Rebels playing Auburn. It starts at 1.30 in the afternoon, and the last game is set for 4 o'clock as Enterprise will host GW Long. Plenty of baseball action, not only in Enterprise and Dothan, but really, folks, all across the Wiregrass and beyond. Well, as far as high school girls softball is concerned, several softball tournaments taking place tomorrow involving Wiregrass teams in Columbus, Georgia. The Sydney Cooper tourney takes place at the South Commons Fields in bracket play at Wicksburg High, Wicksburg, Headland, Cottonwood, Ashford, and Abbeville will be competing as well. The championship contest is set for 6 o'clock tomorrow night in the Central Alabama Classic in Alex City. You follow the Tigers will be taking part in there. Overcoach with the order of the evening at Westgate Park, the Dothan Lady Wolves soccer team hosted Fairhope, a Class 7A school out of the Mobile area. There was no scoring in the first half, but in the second half, Fairhope scores twice. Defeats the Lady Wolves 2-0. Dothan's Anika Kindred had 21 saves in goal. And Maria Wharton led the defense with 13 takeaways. Dothan coach Haley Williams says it's so important to play larger 7A schools to prepare for Area 6 play. Next Tuesday night, the Lady Wolves will host Enterprise at Westgate. And, of course, Enterprise, a 7A school as well. Well, it's being called the biggest pro boxing match in nearly two decades. For the second time in 14 months, two of the sport's best are meeting in the ring. Tonight, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder weighed in. Fury at 273 pounds and Wilder 231. It'll be the second time within 14 months. These two men will have faced each other in the ring. The first fight ended in a draw. Now, this fight is being carried on pay per view. Tomorrow, the Auburn men's basketball team desperately needs a win. Tigers will be back home facing coach Bruce Pearl's team, the old team he had, the Tennessee Vols. Last week, Auburn had lost back to back road games against Missouri and Georgia. The Tigers' Samir Dowdy, you know, he knows the importance of tomorrow. Just making the smart plays, but they still they lost a few players last year, which is players that's in the NBA, but they still a terrific team. They're capable of being anybody, even on our home court. So we got to respect our opponent and lock in. It should be pointed out that it's been more than a year since the Auburn men's team has lost the game at the Auburn Arena. An announcement concerning a mini state Olympics to take place in Dothan this summer. The event is the Alabama State Games, which covers a wide variety of sports. Several college athletes who have participated say the games have helped them in their college careers. Well, really, the state games, this is a thing where we came together, got a group of friends, just have fun. And then throughout when we're having fun, we all get better all together. The games are back in Dothan after being in Huntsville for the past few years. And Paige, Dothan and Ozark City officials say these games will pump in millions of dollars into the Wiregrass economy. Well, I know it'll bring hundreds, possibly thousands of visitors. You never to know. Yeah, indeed. All right. Thank you, Mike.